Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take some time out to show you how to assign MIDI control using the Line 6 FPV Express Mark II uh, as a controller device and take control via MIDI CC assignments of parameters within the PodFarm 2 software. If you want to follow along, you'll have to have a Line 6 USB audio interface with a PodFarm 2 license installed on it through Monkey. And of course, you'll have to own the Line 6 FPV Express Mark II, or you, if you have an FPV Shortboard Mark II, that'll work too. You'll just have additional switches that you can assign more, more functions to. In addition to those devices, you'll want to make sure you have um, the Line 6 FPV Control Program, as well as PodFarm 2 software installed on your system. Both of those installers are free and available from Line6.com's uh, software downloads page. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that both your uh, FPV Express Mark II or Shortboard Mark II device, along with your Line 6 USB audio interface, in this case I'm using a Toneport KB37 with the PodFarm 2 license installed on it, both of those should be connected to two different USB ports on your computer. And if you've done that, you can actually launch the FPV control program. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you can assign MIDI CC values to whatever control options there are. In the Express, you've got the A, the B, the C, the D, as well as the uh, expression pedal toe switch. Um, if you look at the way my screen appears, I've arbitrarily chosen to map CC20 to the A switch. Uh, B is set to control CC21, C22, D23. And the reason I did that is because um, if you click on the down arrow here, you'll notice that most of these are already, um, uh, how should I say it? In general, MIDI assignments, they're already um, pre-assigned to other uh, commonly used apps. They follow a convention where um, you know certain CCs are, are, are kept consistent across the board so that you can just pretty much plug in a device and boom, it should control um, said parameter. Uh, of course, you can assign it to whatever you want, but I just wanted to keep things clear by by showing you all that CC20 has no general uh, convention assignment. So it made sense to just route them up in you know 20, 21, 22, and 23 as a grouping of four for switches A through D. Um, the toe switch here has been assigned to CC102. And I'll show that as the last example in this video, uh, what that's going to be used for. Keep in mind, too, that the switch modes can be set. I've chosen to assign switch modes as single control for switches A through D. And the reason is because the example I'm going to use um, needs that mode assigned to it. And the toggle, uh, similarly, will uh, control a toggleable feature. So uh, you can minimize it or close out of it. Uh, I'll just minimize it. And also, just in case you guys watching paid attention, I, I saved this. This is my own template, the FPV Express PF2 MIDI um, template. If you launch PodFarm 2, this is where we get to assign values to functions. And what, what that means, anything that you can hover over and click on, if you right-click, on um, uh, on PC, or if you have a two-button mouse for Mac, uh, in case you have a single-button mouse for Mac, hold down your control key on the keyboard and, and click, and you'll get the same thing as a right click. Um, it pops down this, this little uh, menu, and in it, you'll see that there's a MIDI Learn feature. So what I'm going to do now is just clear out some assignments here and just show you in real time what I mean by this. Let's say I want to assign switch A to control the down arrow to step through set lists, and B for the up arrow, C for the down arrow of sound selection within the active set list, and D for the up arrow. This is what you do. Um, right click over the down arrow, and I said we were going to assign this to the A switch. If I select MIDI Learn and step on the A control button on the FPV Express, it should learn it. And I'm going to right click on the up arrow and set that to switch B. 
and we can actually um, verify this because now if you right click again now you'll see in in it's it's not uh, it's it's sort of grayed out but you can read it says assigned to CC20 and if we go back to the FPV control program as you recall 20 is set to switch a 21 to B so let's double check the up arrow and indeed CC21 means that the B switch is now assigned to the next set list uh, to give you an example, watch the highlighted uh, set list, and you'll see that I'm controlling it all with my toe now. And that was just me stepping on A twice. I'll do it again. And then I'll step two more times on B to get back up to the high gain amp set list. So I'll do the same for the sound selection or the patch selection features. I'm going to assign the down arrow here to C. And the up arrow will be set to, excuse me, whoops, right click, not left. MIDI learn D. So now um, I can pretty much scroll through. I've only got two examples, but you'll, you'll get the idea. C and D will scroll you through the sounds in the active set list. And I'll go down to the bass amps. And psycho effects. And in case you were wondering, this one is backwards fuzz because it's got a reverse delay and a fuzz face going through this orange. Um, one last example. I think it's it's a pretty commonly asked question. Um, I'm going to take us into, well, actually, here, let's get to the sound, and I'll use my uh, my feet to do the, the talking. Okay, so the P-ball sound. Um, I've, I've got a wah pedal here, and what I've done, if you remember, CC102 has been assigned to the toe switch, which is basically clicking down on it, the equivalent of bypassing an effect. And in doing so, you can right-click over any effect, and you notice a little power switch that's like bypass amp or active. So you can do that for an effect, in this case a wah pedal. If I step down, It's basically bypassing the wah and stepping down on the switch again activates it. And you, if I go into the uh, panel view, you can really see something else. If you right click over this uh, uh, value knob and, and select MIDI Learn and sweep your pedal, you'll notice that the wah effect can be controlled by uh, the expression pedal as well. So everything is really just about experimenting if you you know, it's like I'm right-clicking on here, and obviously it does nothing. But if I'm over here, you'll notice that the little pointer icon appears. If you right-click, if there's already a MIDI parameter assigned, it'll already tell you that it's assigned to a CC. So in this case here, I'll clear it out. And now I'm moving the pedal, but you see it does nothing. So if I right-click on it, select MIDI Learn, and start sweeping the pedal, that's me controlling it in real time. And if I want to bypass the wah effect while I'm playing, step down and... It's shaded. It's it's bypassed, and that's pretty much it. Hope you guys and girls learned something uh, new in this video. Thanks for watching.